hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video so today we're going to do my paycheck budget with me for the third week of august and i thought it would be fun to show you working in my tablet but recording it from my phone instead of screen recording me doing it on the tablet so you can actually see me writing and check out my nails ah! i know i'm silly i just got um SNS dip powder on them because I wanted to do something cute but you guys see my nails every week you know they're already long so I didn't want to get like a full set or anything so I thought I'd try this out I told the nail lady I was like my chickens are going to be like look at this heifer coming out here she done got her claws done <laughs> um, so I love it it's very nice um, so let's go ahead and get started with the budget with me this week, Brian and I both get paid. So for Brian, um, he does have a reduced income. I wasn't aware before, but I guess now he is salary officially and before he was hourly. So his pay got reduced because like, I guess the taxes and things are different when you're paid salary as opposed to hourly. So now he's going to be giving me $1,100 a week. For me, I'm estimating $1,500. Hopefully it'll be more than that. It should be, but we'll have to see what it actually is. And then $2,505 was our rollover from last week. So that's a total of $2,625.05. Okay, so I did write my categories ahead of time, like a good girl. So this week we're going to pay the rest of our mortgage, which is $870.14. I know it's not a, I guess, normal thing, but our mortgage isn't due until the 15th of the month. So... Um, we have between the 15th and the 30th to pay without it being considered late. Whereas most people, it's due on the 1st and you have between the 1st and the 15th to pay it. So, uh, tuition for Carter. This is like his wraparound care for VPK. That's $225. Netflix is going to come out for $26.08. And then my life insurance will be $36.40. That's a total of $1,157.62. We'll subtract that from $26.2505. And that will leave $1,467.43. So since we went over last week for groceries, I, you know, divvied out the remainder of the money for the next three weeks over the month, and that's $2.30 a week. So... Hopefully we'll be able to stick to that. No problem. Gas. Only Brian should need gas. He hasn't gone over $70 for a fill up. So I'm going to put it at $70. Household. Um, we're going to use $20 for pool chlorine. I'll be so glad when it cools off and we can stop buying so much chlorine. I have been looking into ways to keep our pool algae free without buying chlorine. And I think next year at the beginning of like spring startup or, you know, we, I think we started it in April this year. April or May, we started our pool this year. So whenever that is, I think I'm going to get one of those copper things that go in the pool to help reduce the algae or keep the algae at bay. I've read that it can reduce your chlorine usage up to 50%. The thing costs $60 and you have to replace it like once a year. So if we get that and then only have to do like one jug of chlorine a week, That'll save us money because it's $10 a jug. So I'm not going to get it right now just because I don't want to spend the money for it to only be in the pool like a couple of months. But once we get ready for the spring next year, if we get it at the beginning of the season, then, you know, it'll last us a long time and uh, will help us reduce our chlorine usage. 
for our homestead, we're going to spend $30, hopefully. I think only the pigs need food. Kids, they're not going to get anything. Eating out, we're not going to do clothes, blow money, medical, and unbudgeted are all going to get nothing. Let's hope it stays that way. So that is $350. Y'all even see what I'm writing? Heavens to Betsy. $350. And we'll subtract that from $1467.43. And that's $1111 or $1117. $1,117.43. Okay. Now to the debt. Uh, my car payment is due this week, so $696.30. And then we're going to pay $105 towards Home Depot so we can get it out of here. $696.30 and $105. 801.30. Subtract that from our leftover. That leaves 316.13. I was thinking about doing some of our sinking funds this week. Um, we can't do them all with $300, but we could do some instead of just waiting to the end of the month to do them. But I'm not sure. Because I do want to make a video of me like stuffing them. So it would be like two videos. One now and then one at like the end of the month. So I don't know. I feel like I should just wait and do it all at the end of the month. So y'all let me know what y'all want. Y'all want sinking funds. Some sinking funds now and some sinking funds later. <laughs> or all singing funds at the end of the month. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.